Hi guys, it's us. Heather's. Toddler's family. Good morning. Good morning. Toddler's family. Alright, we are headed out of Rochester, New York. We are headed up to Detroit, Michigan. Well, we're going to, no, yeah, we are going to Detroit, Michigan. Because it's Detroit, um, yeah, we got it. It's a Detroit Ann Arbor KOA. So, and Alex wants to go to the Henry Ford Museum. Hopefully, um, it's, it's about 20 minutes from our campground. I don't think it'll happen today, but. Definitely tomorrow morning we'll probably ride in and go to that museum in the morning before we headed before we head south South Carolina. Alright, well we will see you guys as we go throughout our day and we'll see you when we get to Michigan. Alright, we have left New York and we are back in Pennsylvania. Um, I guess we have to go through a little bit of Pennsylvania before we go into Ohio, but next stop is Ohio and then Michigan, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh -huh. We are um, in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. We're passing the city right now, and we're headed to our campground. Um, so we've got Ohio now. And about to have yep, we're about to have Michigan, and then all we'll have left is West Virginia to get, and then we will be home in a few days. So our trip is coming to an end slowly, but we're having fun, and we'll do it. Again. I'm sure we will do it again next year. Yay! So no, we're not. I do not want to go on this longest trip. You can stay with Grandma. Okay, we'll go on a longer trip next year. <laughs> a shorter trip! Oh, okay, a shorter trip. It'll be longer, shorter. But, um, so we're just moving right along. I didn't even realize we were in Ohio. We were playing a game with Heather Rose. And so we lost, we lost it because I had my camera out and I was like, oh, we're going to pass it any time. And then I looked at the map and we had been past it for like probably over an hour. <laughs> so, but we are coming through Cleveland, Ohio right now and should be into Michigan here shortly. And we just drove by the um, Lake Erie and it is wild how big that thing is. And the winds were, the waves and stuff that were coming off of because of how windy it is today. It was insane. So, but we will see you guys in a little bit. In only two hours and 28 minutes until we get here. We are at the Detroit Ann Arbor KOA and we just had some visitors, David and Ashley. Hi. They drove down from Lansing, which is about an hour and a half away, well, across from Lansing, um, to come and hang out some car buddies. Um, and they hung out with us for about two hours. We had some pizza with the kids and went to the uh, playground and they brought the pup along with them. So we got and to have some doggy time. Yeah, we miss our puppies. And now we're going to watch... Um, we're going to watch Falcon, Falcon and Winter, Winter, Winter Soldier, Soldier. Episode 3. Do and you it's on the little out... We got a little outside um, projector set up. So we're about to watch it on the side of the camper and then head to bed to... Go to the Henry Ford Museum tomorrow morning. So, so we're. Uh, we'll see you then. Wind it down and we'll see you then. All right, time to add two more states. All right, guys, we've almost completed the trip map for this trip. Right now, we're staying in Detroit, Michigan at the Detroit Ann Arbor KOA. And on the way here, Wait. we also went through Ohio. Because we couldn't go through Canada. Yeah, because we couldn't go through Canada, else we would have went right here. Um, so we've got West Virginia left on the trip, which we will be there tonight. And then back home in sunny South Carolina to see the puppies. Wow! We're excited. All right. See y'all in a little bit. Toddlers are at um, the Henry Ford Museum and the Greenfield Village. So we're gonna go get some tickets and see what we're gonna do. All right, we are gonna do the Greenfield Village. And if we have time, we'll go to the Henry Ford Museum, but 
It is super busy today. Alex was like, it is crazy how busy it is, but it's really not crazy because it's Father's Day and it's a Sunday, so everybody's out and about with their dad. Going to the car, car stuff, right? <laughs> so, we are here and we'll take you guys with us through the village. So we are in the Greenfield Village. And Alex just told me that on Father's Day special, they do a, what is it? A car show? Car show. And you can, what else? Ride um, Model uh, T's and horse-drawn yeah. carriage. Yeah. And they got a carousel here and a train. And a carousel and a train, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So I'm we're going to have a fun day. That's the board is for laundry. Yeah, that's what actually was just the style. The door used to be this size, but it was too big to get out, so you had to bust out the ball and make it bigger. So this is the first car that Henry Ford built. The entrance to the Henry Ford Motor Company. This is the inside. Down the village. They got a bicycle shop. GL3 and they fly it. And this is a picture of the first flight that occurred at 10:35 in the morning of December 17, 1903. The flight lasted a whole 12 seconds. So this is the the Wright Brothers actual workshop. And now we are at the Wright family home. invented the airplane. They made the very first airplane ever. And they were living in this house when they made that airplane. Now we moved the house here from Dayton, Ohio. So think of this as a giant Lego house. We took it apart, brought it here, and put it back together again. Truly a 1960 Chevy here, but uh, could, could we ask your number, man, so we can get a proper introduction? 273. Yeah, this is a 1960 Chevrolet Impala, uh, exhibited by Ms. Vicki Soto. Of This is the Edison um, power plant. I don't think we can go in and it looks closed, but uh, that's really cool. Coming up here to the roundhouse. I think that's what it's called. I'll ask Alex. He's the train man. Alex. Where are we at, train master? <laughs> Well, I shouldn't call you a train master on the video, huh? I am the train master. Oh, you are the train master? <laughs> Alright, so... The tr 
train master lived here and worked here. It's right here at the the train the little train stop. Which is pretty cool. This was his house and where he worked. on the restaurant oh, that was really good I thought it was too that was really good the dumplings with no chicken were quite delicious the beef the beef soup was it was very was good um, it was very good it was good. probably the best the beef soup was the best I and then know. you had roast beef and I had roast beef and it was good um, and then we had some sarsaparilla soda which is basically like root beer but it was it was all a lot better than I thought it was going to be and Jay had to bring his sarsaparilla with yeah, him and Jay brought his with him he loved it so much but now, there, it looks like there's a car show happening right here in this field, and we're going to keep walking around and see what we see. Lots of cars out here, and they have them all ranged by year, which is really cool. Alright, this is the actual school that Henry Ford went to as a child. You said 8 to 11, babe? Ages 8 to 11 is what he when he attended school here. Let's see what we got. Wow. And this is the courthouse. It's really cool because this whole village was pieced together. <laughs> Hi. You young people probably never heard of him, but a very famous man named Abraham Lincoln. You knew who he was and who was he? What was he? He was a That's exactly right. Good, Good job, Emory. He was a 16 husband of the United States. Is that cool?
Yeah. Oh, wow. We have, uh, I, and the mother died. Uh, and, we, and we would oh, have to about pee or poop on um, really? outside. Where? Oh, man. Yeah. Well, In the cold weather. <laughs> that is wild, isn't it? All right, so we just came from William McGuffey, I'm pretty sure, his house. And this is his school. And we're in the uh, 1930s. Wonderful, yeah, nice Jay. Job, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're sanding and painting furniture, huh? Y'all are doing great. Wow. Wow, Jay. You just did great. Is this what you're looking for? They're playing a baseball game. Shade on the stroller, but 
Alex took the girls to go and look at the horses, but what did y'all find? So we found horses and we found cows and sheep, but the cows, the fun part, <laughs> the the fun fact, fact yes. about it was one of the cows had a calf one hour ago. Yep, and the girls got to see the baby, which was pretty cool, huh? And they didn't have my camera, so they didn't take any pictures or video footage of it, but that's okay. It was still an experience, and they will probably remember that forever. No, that, that was pretty awesome. Thoroughly so. enjoyed that. I would, I would definitely go back, especially during like the week when it wouldn't be as busy because this was Father's Day weekend. Yeah, so they had like a whole uh, car show going on, like cars from. Like the first cars to, I think, the 1970s. 1970s or 80s. Is um, where it ended. But it was, they had them lined up all over the place. It was crazy. It was pretty awesome. We are on our way to somewhere. We just have home in the GPS right now. We're going to figure out where we're going to stop um, in a little bit. It's 5 o'clock now. We did not anticipate staying there that long. But we didn't even finish everything that you could have done there. So, um, if that tells you how long it takes to get through there. It takes four hours. Probably longer. Yeah, they said four hours. That, it, we, we, that was like we, minimum. We, we were running through there. It, it could have taken a lot longer than four hours. Yeah. But um, we will let you guys know where we make it tonight. But we are on our way home. So, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching that video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I read all the comment comments. And, oh, and make sure to check out our Instagram channel right here. We're, we're always posting. Just remember, it's the toddlers.